Yo guys, Chris here, and today we have a very, very fun video. Today we're going to be taking Jack Ultramotive's R32, and we're going to be facing it against Black Panther's R34. I'm going to do a quarter mile, uh, and we'll do the actual mile. And we're going to time those together, see which one's quicker. We're also going to be doing a drift zone, and we're going to be doing a standard circuit race. If I have to do a fifth thing, just to like see kind of where we're at, then uh, that will happen. But who knows if we'll see that. Uh, I'm going to make each car as close as I can get it to what it actually looks like. Uh, so yeah, let's just start off with the Jack's car. Uh, but we do need to make the rims black. And I do have to change up the rims. And the tent could use some more black as well. We can get to what he has. Let's go ahead and get those. Uh, he also got new tires. We're going to go ahead and put the race tire compound on here. Upgraded the clutch. That was a big thing. He uh, lowered the car, but it looks pretty slam to me. So we'll go ahead and put the race brakes on there. No weight reduction. You put all the money into getting the R34 twin turbos. So we're just going to put on the race twin turbos here. And this is the car with all the different things. It comes out to 3,252 pounds. 431 horsepower all right this is the closest we're gonna get to it it does have the uh blue things on the side there are yeah the branding but those are the exact size and uh stuff of the rim so let's go for that and as this video is being made he actually just uploaded a video of him getting side skirts so we do have to add that 3400 pounds 327 horsepower so we're actually making around 70 horsepower less and it weighs a little bit you know it relatively the same so we're, it's gonna be interesting here you know is the r32 you know just being that engine better than the r34 or what kind of upgrades are gonna make the differences stuff like that shifts are nice Alright, let's get it. Better launch that time. Zero to sixty is really good. Does shift really nice. It doesn't even have like the transmission. It just has the clutch. All right, we are kind of topping on the 150s around fourth gear. And there we go. So we topped out at 159. All right, that felt like it went to 60 at about the same speed, but this is where it's starting to slow down. I definitely feel the horsepower. It doesn't lose out on as much revs during the shift, but it, it is going slower. We were hitting 150 in fourth gear on the R32. Yeah, 148. Uh, it looks like the R32 takes that one.
Yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you want me to do any other um, cars like this video, then uh, let me know.